Hello everybody and welcome to my very first Let's Draw on my brand new art channel. Thank you guys so much for popping in and giving this little video a watch. It's probably the first of many many to come and I hope you excuse any roughness in this particular uh, recording. Uh, so my name's Danny, you, uh, but I go by Flan, Flancy Flan, most places. So if you've ever seen the username anywhere, that's probably me. Um, I do mostly digital art. I am dipping my toes back into traditional art, but most of what you're probably going to see here is uh, digital art because I don't have a really good um, camera setup for traditional art. So maybe in the future, if I get a good camera and I get all that sorted out, then we will have uh, more traditional art, but for now it's going to be mostly digital. I use mainly uh, Photoshop and well, I say mainly, but exclusively, uh, Photoshop and Paint Tool Sci. Paint Tool Sci is quickly becoming my main program. I still uh, go back into Photoshop for things out of habit, um, but uh, Paint Tool Sci is quickly becoming, like I said, one of my main main art program. I've used um, Photoshop for a lot of years. It's basically what I taught myself on. I wouldn't say I'm trained because I think I had one Photoshop class, but it was mostly for photos. And I did learn a lot of the tips and tricks that I use later on in my art, but it was mostly for uh, photos. So I'm mostly self-taught with Photoshop, and it's that arduous process over the years of how do I do this? Oh, I Googled it. Oh, what's this tutorial? Sort of thing like that. But uh, if you have any questions about anything, maybe I can help out. Uh, like I said, I'm also learning Paint Tool Sci. I don't know all the tips and tricks for that just yet, but it's always a fun learning process. Uh, about the picture itself, um, I combined two things I absolutely love. My username. Uh, which, yes, did come from an episode of Courage, the Cowardly Dog, if it sounds uh, familiar. It's not, Flan isn't actually my favorite dessert, it's okay, but it's definitely from that episode of Courage. Uh, and uh, Japanese Lolita fashion. Uh, I like a lot of Japanese fashion subcultures, uh, but Lolita has been a favorite of mine for uh, many, many years. It can be cute and elegant, and I just, those are just two things I absolutely love. So uh, it was a no brainer for my first piece posted to sort of be, you know, my little mask, my future mascot for the channel. Uh, and to be a combination of my username and something I absolutely love. So I definitely designed the dress uh, based around the dessert. So right now I'm just working on the lines. Um, I'm not too happy with the uh, top skirt that you can see me working on there because I was so focused on the design. I didn't really think about folds in the top skirt. So it looks very, very stiff compared to the underskirt. Uh, and here, what you see me doing is normally I don't color things by hand, but I thought I'd try it, and so what I'm doing is I'm coloring it bright red so I can see everything. Any mistakes are going outside the lines, and I decided I didn't like doing that. So I opened it back up in Photoshop and started going over it with the pen tool. Um, and I'm very familiar with the pen tool prior to getting my tablet years and years and years ago. Uh, I did everything with the pen tool. Uh, line art, base color, shading. I, you know, that was my main tool. That's why I mostly used Photoshop was because of the pen tool. And uh, after I got a tablet, I learned how to do everything with the tablet. And, you know, the pen tool just sticks around because I can use it very, very quickly. Uh, you can see me here going through and putting in uh, base colors. And I'm actually quicker with the pen tool than I am just coloring things in by hand because uh, like I said, I used it a lot, I'm very quick with it, and I do use the um, uh, fill bucket and magic wand tools to do some base colors. The pen tool is mostly for things that have a lot of nooks and crannies that can be missed uh, by the magic wand, so that's what you see me using the pen tool for. And here I am just filling in the different parts of the dress. Uh, it's, mo it's obviously mostly browns and yellows to fit with the dessert, uh, that's the main theme. Um, and you can just see me coloring her little hat, getting her all finished. Uh, that layer you see me turning off and on that looks like it's already colored is my color key. Uh, normally that's off in a corner somewhere where I've just scribbled it out so I know. But I really wanted the colors on this dress to be solid before I started coloring. So I just scribbled into the sketch before I started recording the line art. Uh, you probably won't see me sketch a lot uh, on this channel. Sketching is a bit of a long process for me. Um, it takes me you know, a couple of hours because one, I like to refine my sketch to where I'm ready for the line art and two, I do just fiddle around while I'm sketching a lot. Uh, so, you know, I'm sketching, but I'm also scrolling through Tumblr or Twitter or DeviantArt or whatever. So sketching takes a while. If I were to just sit down and work on a sketch, I could probably get it done faster. Uh, but this picture here took me two hours. I'm really slow at art. Uh, and here I am working on the shading for this picture. Um, 
what I usually do is all the colors are generally on their own layer, but when I go to do the uh, shading, I will merge all those colors together, set them to multiply, and shade under them with what I call my basic blue. I use it for sketching as well as shading. So my first pass of shading is done with that blue underneath all of this, mostly because the blue is uh, easy on my eyes. It doesn't strain them like, say, black or red or something would. Uh, and it shows up well under most colors, you know, give or take like black or something. And so it lets me see things really, really easy and I can just get all my shading in there um, without too much effort. And then once all the shading's in, I go back and I change the color of the blue to something that works better with the color it's under and you'll see that process too. So here I am just working on that. Um, I love to draw ruffles. Uh, ruffles and lace and things like that, but I always end up hating myself for it later because then I have to go in and ink it and shade it. And while I'm drawing, I think, oh yeah, this looks great. I can't wait. And then I start, I'm like, why did I do this to myself? Why did I put myself through such torture? Um, but I do it every time and I don't think I'm going to stop doing it anytime soon. So here I am shading that top layer and I'm trying to add some wrinkles in, but it still looks really stiff compared to that under layer. Because like I said, I was focused on the design of the dress less than the actual um, shape of the fabric, if you get what I mean. Uh, so that it looks a little stiff, but you can really see the design. So I guess it's a, a lesser of two evils. Uh, here I am just shading those ruffles. I try to get them all there. They look a little blobby to me. Um, and then I go back and add some more depth like I'm doing there and you see me do that kind of the other ones And here are her feet. Ugh, I hate her feet in this image Like I tried for so long to get these feet sketched out right and they just were not turning out So I compromised with myself and I'm definitely I know I can do better feet but With this image it just wasn't working out for me and here I am touching up those ruffles as well uh, it looks like I am shading the tablet pen because like I said, she's holding the tablet pen for my Wacom Cintiq uh, and she's going to be my little mascot and I'll get the banner set up and everything. And here I am taking it back into Photoshop. I know um, Pachel Sai has a hue and saturation tool, but I forget about it. <laughs> so I instantly take it back into Photoshop uh, and <laughs> do it there. And here I am just using the, sh the, the circle tool to make her pupils so they're perfectly round. Another thing I love to do is I love to make the um, shines in the eyes different little shapes. So it's a little a little nod to me. If they're big enough, you can see, if her eyes are big enough, you can see it. If not, it'll look like shades. But I don't know they're cute little shapes. Uh, and here I am doing the shines on her hair and her lips and her buttons and the pen. Uh, I take it back into Photoshop for some final shading. Um, I use like a gradient or a big soft brush and I. Um, just add a, another layer of shading uh, to give it a little bit more depth. It just makes everything pop a little bit. So you have that mixture of soft shading and the mixture of cell harsh shading. And I just think it looks really, really nice. And here I'm just finishing it up on her hat and adding it to her face. And then I go in, I change the color of the line art to a darker brown. So yeah, I'm just putting the finishing touches on the picture. If you like what you see, don't forget to give a like and subscribe. And if you want to see the high res of this, you can check it out uh, at the link below where it's on my DeviantArt. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.